kick-ass facts. Pew, 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 pew. For the first time ever, a group of scientists have some solid evidence regarding what happens when the body is leaving this physical realm. Dying. They were able to get evidence by performing an EEG test on a man who was, in fact, dying. The man died from a heart attack, and the EEG test recorded his brain activity for 15 minutes after his death. They noted there was an increase in brain activity, a phenomenon known as gamma oscillations. Excellent question. I know you're asking. Gamma oscillations are connected to high levels of thought and focus. Researchers believe that such a high level of activity during those 15 minutes suggests that a person's life flashes before their eyes in that span. The same brain activity has been found in rats in their last moments. This implies that there is a conventional response that the brain executes during those times. The next step is to conduct this test with more subjects to analyze the validity of their result. A friend of mine was one showing pictures on her camera roll and instead of pressing the picture and swiping, she pressed the bottom where all the thumbnails are and swiped and then her life literally flashed before my eyes. In 1896, Johnson & Johnson released Lister's Towels, also known as sanitary napkins for ladies, which were most likely the first disposable and commercially sold feminine hygiene products. Take a wild guess as to when the first study to use blood to test the absorbency of period products was published. Take a guess. Would it surprise you to learn because it surprised the hell out of me, that it wasn't until August 2023. 2023. Up until then, only water or saline was used. <coughs> Gozer's mad about it too. That's my boy. Such an ally. Doctors typically measure how much blood a patient loses during their period by assessing how many menstrual products they fill up per hour or day. But water and saline are less viscous than menstrual blood, so the numbers were all off. The study compared 21 period products, including sanitary towels and tampons, as well as menstrual discs, cups, and period panties. They found the discs held more blood than any other product. A menstrual disc is a disc-shaped receptacle hence the name, that is folded and inserted into the vagina to sit below the cervix and catch the blood. Unlike a cup, it does not create a suction effect. <laughs> but the team found the products held less blood than stated on the label, which they suspect could be because the products weren't tested using blood. On average, the discs held the most blood. Tampons, pads, and menstrual cups all held similar amounts, and menstrual underwear held the least. I tried it once, and it's definitely better for... Is my period coming today? Is my period over today? When the results were published, a lot of people were mad. They saw it as a symptom of wider issues around how the reproductive health of people who menstruate is under-researched and poorly understood. According to the editorial, only one study on menstrual blood was published between 1941 and 1950, and only 400 over the past several decades. Meanwhile, around 10,000 studies on erectile dysfunction were published during that same time. During the 1908 Olympics in London, the Russians showed up 12 days late due to the fact that they were using the Julian calendar instead of the Gregorian calendar. Batman and Predator exist in the same fictional universe. Since 1991, they have been featured together in three comic books. 